Directors 13. Lights. Everyone in positions. Turn over. Take one. OK, mark it. Action. You have no idea. Oh, mate, can I borrow your phone? There's no signal on mine. What's the matter with the landline? I prefer to text. <laughs> Sorry, it's in my coat. Uh, here. Here's mine. Oh, thank you. It's an old friend of mine, John Watts. Afghanistan or Iraq? Sorry? Which is it, Afghanistan or Iraq? Uh, Afghanistan. Sorry, how do you know? How do you feel about the violins? Sorry, what? I play the violin when I'm thinking. Sometimes I don't speak for days on end. Would that bother you? Potential flatmates know the worst about each other. You told them about me? Not a word. They didn't say anything about flatmates. I did. I told Mike this morning I must be a difficult man to find a flatmate for. And now here he is, out of the blue, with an old friend, clearly just home from military service in Afghanistan. It wasn't a difficulty. How did you know about Afghanistan? I've got my own little place in central London. Uh, together we should be able to afford it. We can meet next tomorrow at 7.30. Sorry, I've got a dash. Is that it? Is that what? We've only just met. We're going to look at a flat together. Problem? We don't know a thing about each other. I don't know what I mean. I don't even know your name. I know you're an army doctor, just invalided home from Afghanistan. I know you've got a brother, but you won't go to him for help because you don't approve of him. Possibly because he's an alcoholic, or more likely because he's just left his wife. I know your doctor thinks your limp is psychosomatic, and quite correctly, I might add. I think that's enough to get you on with anything. Oh, and the name's Sherlock Holmes, and the flat's 221B Baker Street. Evening. Yeah, he's always like that. 